You need to realize why is Israel and Jerusalem so important today? Why does it matter? What's going on here? And that's really, in one sense, what many wonder because Israel is the size of a postage stamp. It is probably one of the smallest countries in the world. And here, there's this, all this complaining about Jerusalem not being its capital. They want to make Tel Aviv its capital. Why all the fuss about Jerusalem? I'll tell you why all the fuss about Jerusalem. Because that is where God has placed His name. Jerusalem is where His throne is going to be. As a matter of fact, the prophets say that Jerusalem will become a cup of trembling to all nations. Jerusalem is so significant because that is where the Lord is going to rule and reign. If you read Zechariah chapter 14, and this is quite significant, it talks about the Lord coming down, His feet landing on the Mount of Olives. The Mount of Olives is going to split in two from north to south. There'll be a great valley from east to west. Now that hasn't happened yet. Well, what is going to be happening? Why does God want to be rule and reign in Jerusalem? That's where the temple is. That is the, the very root and source of biblical history. Many believe that's where the Garden of Eden was. Well, guess what? The Palestinians want Jerusalem as their capital. This is a contest between good and evil. What does Satan want? He wants to have every bit of property that God wanted as his throne and his home. That's what this war is really about. The very West Bank, this is where Hebron is. Hebron is where Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob are buried. You go to the mountains of Samaria. This is where Jacob was and Joseph was and the 12 tribes of Israel. This is the mountains, this is the heart. We should love Samaria. The mountains of Samaria is God's home. As a matter of fact, in Ezekiel, it says the mountains will bring forth flowers and trees and growth and fruit for my people Israel. This whole battle in these last days is about the world not wanting God to have His throne, Him ruling, Him reigning in Jerusalem. That's why this big battle is between the Arabs and Israel. It's, it's not a political thing. It's between Islam and Judaism. The God of Islam is not the God of Israel. That is so important for you to realize. Allah is not the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Despite what many of the politicians, the pundits, the presidents may say, the Allah is not the same God as the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Very important to realize. Allah wants to kill the Jews. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob does not want to kill the Jews. In the, in the Torah, the main theme, as well as in the New Testament, is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. These are two opposite gods. They are not the same God. 